Okay, and as promised, folks, we get the opportunity to talk with some of the best pros in the sport, and we're lucky enough right now to have a quick chat with Lauren Brandon. Lauren, hey, great to see you. As always, a smile just lights me up. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you guys? I'm doing well. As Dee Dee said earlier, I'll steer her line. We're sitting in the in the soft chairs while these women push out the hard power. What do you think about this new format, Lauren? Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. I have to be honest, when uh, it went live this morning, I got really nervous watching them. <laughs> I felt like I was racing. So um, yeah, it's definitely been a fun morning just watching them uh, push out some watts and I think I'm going to have a good ride after this, after watching them. Yeah, you and me both. Uh, maybe you and I will go toe-to-toe -to -toe after they're done with their race. Uh, maybe I'll see you out in virtual riding land, and and, and you and I can can have a little uh, a, a little knock around on, on the trainers after this inspiration. Lauren, um, your life lately, how have you adapted to what's been going on in the world, and, and how have you been doing maintaining your fitness to what level are you trying to maintain fitness have you have you kept your training the same have you backed off a little bit uh how are you doing both physically and mentally yeah you know i think when everything started happening i definitely had a couple of weeks where i struggled with motivation and um really just had to take all my training down a lot but you know the past week or so i've um tried to get in back into a better routine and Julie and I have kind of bumped up the hours a bit and my my intensity still isn't quite there. Um, but you know, I'm trying to get in some some better hours on the bike and run and keep up my strength training and just try and enjoy it and not really put any pressure on myself. Oh, that's great. And and just to where you just said you've modified. So for a lot of folks, they're going to a lot more trainer time than they're used to. Could you share some strategies for making the most of that trainer time in terms of being effective and just making the time go by? Yeah, I mean, I'm someone that spends all of my time on the trainer anyway. So, um, you know, I can definitely give you some tips for that. Uh, when I'm doing easier rides, I just put on my favorite shows or a movie. And then, but unfortunately, a lot of Julie's uh, rides are quite hard. So I've been putting on some Pandora dance pop radio and trying to just get after it, listening uh, to some of my favorite songs. And, you know, also uh, snacks definitely motivate me. I feel like for my, <laughs> I used to have um, my good snacks just for my five, six hour trainer rides. And now the candy's coming out for two to three hour rides. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And then what's the, what's the candy of choice? What's the favorite treat? Oh, it's sour gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> sour ones. Hey, good for you. Uh, good for you. Sour. What? So here's, here's another question. Cause you, you just, you mentioned like you got nervous and, and, and I feel that. I mean, I think when in race energy comes up and you get the show and everything and the, the, the women are there spinning out, it, it is exciting. It's a little bit nerve enticing, but let me ask you this. Are you excited to jump into one of these uh, VR races in the future? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think it's just a great opportunity for everyone to keep connected with each other. And I absolutely love what Iron Man is doing. And I think it's going to help kind of motivate everybody throughout the week and get ready for a virtual race weekend. So I'm definitely hoping to hop on one of these soon. That's great. I'm going to ask you just one more question, Lauren. We've seen on your social media feed that you've been doing some stretch cords and, and obviously <laughs> swimming um, is not part of anyone's agenda at the moment with, with pools uh, shut. Uh, some people attempting some bathtubs or blow up pools in their backyard. But uh, what's your best advice on, on the use of stretch cords and how often are you using them and how long are you using them for? Are you doing a full 90 minute stretch cord session or are you really paring it down and just trying to generate some good power out of the cords? Yeah, so I have brought out the stretch cords and I haven't used them since college. So it's been 13 years. And I have to tell you, it's kind of uh, brought back some nightmares from college, <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm definitely keeping uh, all of the workouts short. So I'm doing three times a week, 30 minutes, and really just doing probably about 15 minutes of uh, that 30 minutes hard pulls. So 
um, all the in intervals are pretty short, doing 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and the highest is a minute and with rest in between. So you definitely want to keep it short. You know, you don't want to have a shoulder problem while you're out of the water. So just keep it short, but keep the movement going and really still focus on your technique. Oh, that's super advice, I think. And, and uh, I, I would say also just tongue in cheek here, I bet you out of the water are still 10 times faster than most of us in the water. Uh, but anyway, just a compliment. It's, uh, it's good advice straight from the top here, Lauren Brandon. And we look forward to having you on a show in the future again uh, in the hot seat. We get to watch you race on your Ventum. So thanks for taking time and get back to watch these women race. Uh, and keep doing what you're doing. It's great to see you. Yeah, well, thank you, guys, and thanks for the fun morning, and keep getting after it, ladies. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. <laughs>